So we are following the trail of the barrels. We've just left Ballastery Vineyards and now we are here at Stranahan's and Rob Dietrich, who is the head distiller here, you know the trail of these barrels. Um, absolutely. Um, you know, basically what we do here is we just make one product. We make Stranahan's Colorado whiskey. Um, the fun thing that I get to do is do, um, you know, we release a, a specialty batch called Snowflake. Uh, Snowflake is where we will take um, our whiskey, which is aged to fruition in, in white American oak, and we will cask finish it in a wine barrel or uh, any kind of different barrel than, than what it originally started in. I've been fortunate enough to meet with uh, Julie Balistrieri and uh, we've done a barrel exchange where I've taken some of her fresh wine barrels. Uh, recently, I uh, released a, a cherry wine finish. Uh, so we, we had rested the whiskey in her cherry wine barrels. Um, as soon as we were finished with those barrels, we actually were able to give them back to her and she was able to put port in those. So. And how many of those bottles do you guys make? Um, we make about 500 bottles every time we release it and it sells out in about four hours. So a very limited edition. Oh yeah, we, get, we have people lined up in the alley. Um, six o'clock in the morning, there's about 100 people in the alley lined up. Well, that's amazing, but remember who your friends are on, Always, on, yeah. this, on, on this side. Certainly. So now, not only do you guys make this fantastic whiskey, but you actually have the entire production facilities here. Absolutely. Can you, if you came here for a tour, can you walk us through everything we're going to see? Oh, certainly. Um, if, you, if you came in on a tour, uh, we, we, we tell everyone exactly how we do the process from grain to bottle, all the way from... Uh, from our, our grist mill all the way to the, the brewing process, through the fermentation, uh, fermentation process, into the still house, the barrel house, into the bottling room, and all the way up to, uh, to the tasting room where you get to actually try the whiskey and the product. So basically, you guys, these are some of the Colorado grains, and you buy locally as well. Yeah, we, uh, we use all Rocky Mountain products. We, use, uh, uh, we, we do source some of our grain locally. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's we're, we're kind of giving back to the community and the community gives to us. So these are samples of the grains you have and then this is the finished product. Correct, yeah. And you get to finish off with this beautiful new tasting room that you have. This is the fun part. You know, you get to go through all the, it's kind of like going to school. You have to go through and learn how, it, how it's all made. But at the end, you do get to, we do walk you through tasting, uh, teach people how to properly nose a whiskey, how to properly taste a whiskey. Um, and then you're, you're able to see exactly how the process was happened and finish it off with a taste. Well, I absolutely love the fact that this is a Colorado company made with Colorado products with Colorado business to connections. Mm -hmm. So it is a fantastic place for you to come visit here in the Denver metro area. Right. Rob, thanks so much for joining it's my us. my pleasure. I have absolutely had a fantastic time here. Next, coming up on Dig In, we are going to get our hands dirty with Vegetable Gardening 101. Hi, this is Chef Mick from Tony's Markets. Today, we're going to be working with wines with our fruits and our meats. We're going to be making a macerated fruit. We're going to be making a lamb patty with gorgonzola and a red wine onion sauce. Don't go away.